What's going on, guys? Hope you're all well. And uh, apologies for this late broadcast. It's been tricky to uh, upload videos as it uh, have to pre-record them at the moment. And it takes a couple of hours to upload. But uh, we've just won 4-0 against West Brom. Three wins in three. And we're going to get into it straight after this intro. <laughs> What's going on, guys? Uh, welcome back. Um, if you are new to my channel, um, sorry, and um, you share the content around. So we've won three games in three. Um, what a week! What a difference a week can make, right? Um, we said after the Chelsea game that we have a good run of games and we need to win them all. And so far, so good. We've won, we beat Brighton away. We've beat West Brom away. However, I don't want to get too carried away. I'm not trying to sound, you know, negative, but these are games we should really be winning. We now have Newcastle at home in the cup. Uh, Palace at home in the league. Newcastle at home again, this time in the league. Then we have Southampton away. And that brings us all the way up to January the 30th where we play Man United at home. Um, Man United are a much different team to when we beat them at Old Trafford. They're joint top of the league at the moment, I believe. Um, and um, until that game, we should make those games all winnable, all four of them. Um, if you check if you check out my last stream, if you haven't seen it already, um, also interested in Pablo Soler, the Valencia winger, go check it out. But I said in there, we should win all these games and uh, we, need to make, we need to take maximum points. Um, and it could really help shape our season. Um, we're looking to um, bring in players, hopefully in the January transfer window, and we've got rid of Kalazanak already. Um, Socrates is linked with a move to Fenerbahce. Oza, we're trying to get out. Let's, let's be real, though. Ozil's not going anywhere. He wants to stay in London, so I don't know why we keep bothering with that one. Um, other people, Bellerin, PSG, Barcelona, £20 million plus, plus add-ons. Uh, a whole host of, I, I think our, pretty much our entire squad's up for sale, really. Um, but um, let's see, let's hope we can kick on now and um, really sort of move up the table. Um, nine, nine points we've got now after the last three games. And again, the FA Cup, I'm not too bothered about it. I think after this season, I think it's just, I think it's really important that we just concentrate on the league and getting up the table. And... Um, also, I, I believe some people just write off the January transfer window. I actually think it's really important um, in terms of getting rid of as many Deadwood players as we can, whether it be on loan or sale for, for a nominal fee, and hopefully bringing in people, if they are the right people, um, not just getting anyone in to then for, for the sake of no reason. Um, so let's see how that goes. Uh, but I do think it's crucial. Um, if we can't get rid of anybody like permanently, then fine. But let's see if we can get rid of some people and bring in a signing or two. Um, and again, the signings need to be people who are going to be shit hot. Um, not, you know, no, no more of these these freebies from Chelsea or whatever. Um, and again, if you haven't checked out my stream from earlier in, in today, we are linked with the Valencia winger um, Carlos Soler. Um, I I spoke to a gooner who lives in Valencia, and he says he's not what we're looking for. However. His stats weren't that great, but this season in 12 games, he scored five goals and four assists from the right wing, which is where he plays, which is ideally a position we look at that. You know, if you look at the left wing now, we've got Tierney crossing balls in. We've got Martinelli. Saka's played there as well. I know Saka's been moved over to the right because Arteta likes inverted wingers. But it's the right-hand side where we've struggled. Um, again, Bellerin, yeah, he gets some assists, but he leaves us exposed all the time, which is why I don't think... I don't think Bellerin's a good a good player at right back, and I think we should move him on. Um, so Soler could be coming in. We'll see what happens if we can get rid of a few more players. Um, but mo moving on, um, going back to the West Brom game, uh, what a fantastic performance for the lads. 
Um, and in all honesty, it should have been a 4 0. You know, come on, it's West Brom. I know Sam Allardyce is a sort of manager we used to lose under, under Bolton. But um, if we can't go to West Brom and get a result, you know, uh, we're not a, an elite club. I know elite clubs slip up and, and stuff, but it's games we should be looking to win anyway. Um, I thought it was a fantastic performance. Um, West Brom didn't offer that too much, so I wouldn't get too carried away. However, um, let's see what we can do in January. Again, I think it's a really crucial month for us in terms of the games we've got that are winnable and also the January transfer window. And I think, to be honest with you, I think the rest of our season will be, will be shaped on that because after that, after the January transfer window shuts, well, we've got Man United on the last game of January. Then we're into playing Aston Villa, Wolves, Chelsea, Tottenham, Liverpool, City, and then gets really hard. So if we don't win those games, it's going to be an uphill struggle for us. Um, leave in the comments, guys. Smash a like on the videos. And again, if you just... ...channel. And um, yeah, we're going to get into some player ratings. So I'm just going to bring up the team from the other day. Leno, goalkeeper. So Leno, I'm just going to give a 6-2, to, to be honest with you. Um, it's not that like he did... And it's not like I'm saying he had a bad game, but he didn't really have anything to do. Like I said, West Brom didn't offer anything. They put the ball in the net once and we got lucky, I think, with someone being offside. I, I can't remember who that was now. But I'm going to give him a, um, a six just because he didn't really have any, anything to do. So I can't really mark him any more than that. Bellerin gets a six for me. Um, you know, anybody who watches my streams knows that I hate this guy. And he, he, needs to, he needs to go ASAP. If he, if PSG or Barca don't want him, fucking hell, they can have him. Seriously, I'll drive him there myself. Uh, I'm going to give him a 6 2. Didn't really do anything wrong. Go, moving on to Rob Holden. Uh, I thought he had a really good game, actually. I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10. Again, didn't have, didn't have a great deal to do, but what he did do, he did well. So I'm going to give him a 7. And uh, same as Pablo Marie, um, 7. A lot of guys are getting gassed about Pablo Marie. Uh, three games now. And um, again, I'll give him a 7. But uh, West Brom didn't really offer that much. He did what he needed to do. Um, again, the jury's still out for, uh, on him for me. It's good to see him starting to play now because he's had a year injured, but um, I really want to see him tested up against the likes of Tottenham, Liverpool, City, United, and then see what we think of him. Um, but hopefully, so far, so good. I think he's going to be a little bit slow on pace, but we'll see how that works out. Um, it's clear that the manager doesn't want to leave him to play, or well, not just yet. He looks He's looking to loan him out. Well, he's sell him. So um, I hope not sell him. But um, obviously, like I said, he's trying to get bodies out so he can bring players in. So we'll see what happens. Um, Tierney, my man in the match, nine out of ten for him. Great goal. The way he he skinned that player, cut in and then curled it in in the in the corner. And uh, apparently, he said in his in his post match interview that all the lads were saying it was a cross. <laughs> it's definitely not a cross. Definitely a goal. And uh, what a player. Um, I was worried in his first season that he'd be an injury-prone player. But so far, so good this season. I don't want to speak too soon because we all know what Arsenal like their injuries. But he's been he's been unbelievable. And um, in my opinion, we should make him captain. As much as I love Alba, he's not a captain. Tierney is. Let's make him captain for next season. Um, moving on then, into midfield. Xhaka, again, I hate this guy, but I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. Didn't really have a much much to do, but didn't fuck up for once. So I can't really, I can't really slag him off too much. Um, again, guys, let me know in the comments if you're Xhaka in or out. I mean, I can't believe they're still supporters. You think he's a decent player, but there you go. Danny Sabios, again, a good mature um, um, performance from him or spinning top, as we like to call him, because he just goes around in circles. Um, give him an eight out of 10. Probably one of his better performances, but um, probably been a bit... Um, you know, a bit um, over the top of that, we've given him an eight. Um, his performance haven't been great, let's be real. And, it, and if I was manager, I'd rip up his, his low move in January. I'd send him back to Madrid, but that's just me. Um, moving on then to the wing positions, we had Saka. Um, again, eight out of 10. This kid has got everything. Anybody who watches my streams knows what I think of this kid. He's, he's, he's fucking brilliant. And uh, the fact that he's come through the youth system is just, it's so good when you see a young player come through the youth system and make it to the top level. And he's got everything. 
He can cross, he can shoot, he can score, he can beat players. He's a good team player and he's still only 19. I'm I'm absolutely gassed and over the moon that he signed a new contract in the summer because um, this this kid, I mean, we spent £72 million on Pepe. We could have saved it on this kid. This kid's fucking clear of him. He's levels above Pepe. Um, so I'm, you know, I'm, I'm amazed. You know, I'm just so glad that he's still, he's still at the club and signed a new contract. Moving on to a Bamyang on the left wing, and a six out of ten to. Um, I don't like him when he plays on the wing. Um, I know Lacazette scored a few goals recently, but a Bamyang was a goal scorer. That's all he does. He doesn't do anything else. He doesn't, can't dribble, can't beat players. He can't, you know, be, do defensive work when we've had him playing in fucking left wing back position as a, as a team player, which I understand to a certain extent. He's a goal scorer. It's all he does. He doesn't do anything else. Play him in the centre. I know he's not been, he's had a bad run of form, but that's all, that's that's it. If that was me, I understand that Martinelli probably needed a rest because he's come out from injury, from a long-term injury. But if you're not going to play him in the centre and you think he's out of form or whatever, if you don't want to play him up front, then put him on the bench. Don't play him on the left wing. Should have played Martinelli. Um, but I'm going to give him a 6 out of 10. Didn't really do a lot, to be honest with you. Emil Smith-Rowe. Um, this kid, I'm so glad he's getting a chance. Um, in previous streams, I've said that the jury is out for me on him in terms of that I've not seen him play enough. But since he's come in his last three games, he's been absolutely brilliant. Um, you know, don't get me wrong, he's not ter- ter- up, tearing up trees at the moment. Um, but from what I've seen so far, he's done pretty well. He almost scored a goal and it would have been good for his confidence if, if he'd have banged one in. Um we still need another another number 10. Oz was like part of his plans, let's be real. Um, and especially on those wages, he's definitely not. Um, but uh, yeah, I want to see him start more regularly. Um, great player, looks to business. And again, yeah, he's shone against Brighton and West Brom and OK Chelsea. But I want to see what he can do against Man United, Liverpool, um, Tottenham, all them sort of guys. And then we'll get a real feel for him. Um, also, while we're at, big up to the new subscriber. I did a stream earlier today and I had 21 new subscribers. Got another one since then. So, so big up to you. Keep subscribing, guys. Appreciate that on the road to 1K. Really helps me out. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to give Smith Rowe an 8 out of 10. Again, another great performance. And I understand why he got taken off early. Um, but, yeah, I want to see more of him. And that just leaves us with, before we get into subs, actually, Lacazette. Um, do you know what? I've slagged Lacazette off a lot and I said we should sell him in January and I still say that. However, four four goals in three games, what a difference that makes. Um, he's rescued our season to a certain extent. I mean, got the winner against Brighton. So again, I'm going to give him an eight out of ten. Uh, brilliant performance, two goals. Can't really ask more than that. Um, I know one of the goals came off his knee or whatever. Who cares? He put it in the back of the net. You know what I mean? That's what it's all about. It's eight out of ten for me on that. Smash the likes, guys, and share the content and subscribe if you're new. So, um, def- um, substitutes appearances, make the nulls. I'm going to give a 7 out of 10 to. Didn't put a foot wrong. I know we went up against much, but again, still did brilliantly. And we always look more solid with him in at right back position instead of Bellerin. Um, I don't understand why Bellerin still gets the game. Just sell him. Seriously. Arteta, if you're watching this, just fucking sell him. Okay? Get 22 million for him. Put make the nulls in. We've got three right backs anyway. And go get go get a war or whatever else you want. Um, Moving on to William. Uh, I'll give him a five. Again, William, dog shit. Um, I actually thought he was a good player before he came to Arsenal, um, how wrong I was. Um, he's been shit. Apart from Fulham, he's been absolutely dog shit. Um, got a couple of crosses and stuff like that, but yeah, so what? I mean, that could have been minutes. That's minutes taken away. He came on, on in the 71st minute. So we've got 20, 25 minutes. That's 25 minutes that a young player could have got, in my opinion. Just, just get rid of him. Real Betis won him in the summer for, to replace Joaquin. Give him to him. 200, million, 200 grand off a week off the wage bill. And that leaves us with Willock. Um, we came on 30 minutes ago. Again, I'm not I'm not convinced of Willock. I either think that he needs to go out on loan um, or we need to sell him. I don't. I think that there's certain players for our use isn't going to make it. I think Saka's got it. Ings about the Niles has got it. Emil Smith Rowe at the moment seems like he's got it. And Ketia and Willock and Nelson. I don't think so. I, I generally don't. Um, 
And uh, I think if anything, they need to go alone, see what happens, see if they get up to scratch. If not, make a decision from there. But that's what I think. Again, guys, let me know in the comments what you think. Smash the likes up. And um, yeah, that leaves us to sort of move on to Newcastle now. So we are playing Newcastle in the Cup on Saturday at home. Um, Newcastle are a bit of a weird team. They On their day, they could beat anybody. Um, but two-thirds of the time, they're not on the game. They've got some good players. However, we should win it at home. I know, I know we haven't got supporters in the ground, but again, it's the FA Cup game. And I'll be honest with you, I'm not that bothered. Um, as much as I like to see us defend our trophy and um, and win it, because obviously it's, it's, a, it's a cup at the end of the day, I think our priorities are bigger than that at the moment. And um, I think that we need to utilise this January transfer window really, really well. Even if that means we don't bring in anyone, we need to get rid of as many Deadwood players as we can. It's, you know, just wasting windows is, is, is crazy. Um, I also believe that we need to contract in a league. And even if he rests a few players, I wouldn't hold it against him. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Um, score predictions. I'm going to go for a 2 0 win to Arsenal. Um, uh, we're at home. Newcastle aren't they great? Um, that's how I think this game should go. But again, guys, let me know what you think. In the comments below, um, will we beat Newcastle? Let me know what you think. Um, for anybody who doesn't know, after that, we have Palace at home in the league. Newcastle again at home in the league. Then we have duh, 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 Southampton away, which will be a tough game. They're starting to slide down the table a little bit. However, they've still got a good, they've still got a good side and a good manager. And then we've got we move on to Manchester United at home, last game of January. Um, if we do beat Newcastle... We will be we will play another FA Cup game just before Man United. So there will be another game there. Um, but again, guys, please, if you just join some join the stream and you've not seen my channel before. Thousand subscribers, another two hundred odd, and we'll be there. Um, I'm also starting to grow trying to keep growing my other social media pages. So put it up here. You obviously YouTube that you're on at the moment. Instagram, I've got almost eleven thousand uh, followers on there. Twitter, I'm up to almost two thousand. But Facebook, I'm really struggling on Facebook. If anybody's watching this stream, if you can follow my Arsenal page, Arsenal Ross, and share it around, I really appreciate that. And I can start streaming my um, streams to there as well. So please do that. Um, and um, a question for you, really, to just finish off with: What do you think we need in a January transfer window? Do we need a new manager? Um, Pochettino has now gone to PSG. Um, do you think we just need to get rid of a load of Deadwood players? Do you think that the manager doesn't know that some of the players are Deadwood, i.e. Bellerin and Xhaka? Do you think that we need to bring players in? If so, who? Do you think we need a number 10? Ericsson, um, Ricky Puig, um, who else has been linked? Um, loads of other guys have been linked, I'm sure. Julian Brandt. Um, who is obviously, I think, has gone to Leipzig now. Who else do you bring in? Soler, I believe, plays as a right winger because he's obviously trying to, you know, create some more creativity from the right-hand side. It predominantly comes from the left. But let me know, guys, who you would like to see at Arsenal, who you think we really desperately need, realistically, obviously. Um, I'd like to see Ericsson. I think 12 million, again, is a bargain. If we if it didn't work out, we could get 12 million for him. Um, Isco on loan for six months. Okay, cool. Six months, see how he gets on. Sign him if it goes well. Don't if it doesn't. Um, again, Lamptey. If we can get rid of Bellerin to PSG, we can go for Lamptey of Brighton. And I would take him over Max Ahrens. Um, other than that, Brissema of Brighton as well. I don't think that would happen in January. I think that's more of a summer signing potentially. But I also believe Liverpool are looking at him if which now Jim goes to Barcelona. But again, guys, let me know what you think. Um, let me know who you would have in. Um, let me know who you'd get rid of. Um, Saliba is another one who's looking to get a loan move away. Um, I think Senetian is his is going to be his destination. However, AC Milan have shown interest. And um, who else? I think Bayern Munich shows some interest in him as well. But um, it, it's frustrating because we could potentially have a ready-made centre-back partner for Gabriel there. But we don't know it because we've not seen him play. Um, again, for me, the jury's still out on Pablo Marie. As much as I'm glad that he's now getting game time so we can we can see if he's any good or not, which I said in my previous streams, that he needs to cement a place in the team. 
I still want to see him up against Liverpool, City, Tottenham and see what he's like because I'm not convinced he's got pace, but we'll see. Um, but so far, so good. But then anybody can do it against West Brom and Brighton, right? Let's see what he does against the top teams. Um, again, guys, if you are new to my channel, please... And if you haven't already, please um, sign up to my other pages, Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Um, so that's all my streams for the day, guys. Um, I will post something tomorrow. Hopefully, again, I can start the live stream again and interact with you guys. If so, I'll let you know previously on Instagram. But until then, guys, 